Good to go. Thanks. I just want to uh, address a couple of matters that have arisen today, stage three tax cuts and also the matters concerning um, Senator Thorpe, and then happy to take questions afterwards. The cost of the government's stage three tax cuts just keeps going up and up and up. Government can't cry poor in this budget while spending over a quarter of a trillion dollars on tax cuts for politicians and billionaires and making people wait longer for cheaper childcare or affordable housing. A quarter of a trillion dollars could get dental into Medicare, build affordable homes, make childcare free, and in a cost of living crisis, there are better things for Labor to spend a quarter of a trillion dollars on than giving $9,000 a year tax cut to Clive Palmer and politicians. The Greens will fight Labor's stage three tax cuts. They need to go, and that money needs to go on delivering cost of living relief to people who are doing it incredibly tough at the moment. Now, um, on the matters regarding Senator Thorpe, we've got a statement that I want to read and then uh, take questions afterwards. The media raised with me matters concerning Senator Thorpe, which I wasn't aware of until the media raised them. I've since looked into those matters. I've asked Senator Thorpe for her resignation as Deputy Leader in the Senate, and I have received her resignation. As Leader, I expect my Senators and MPs, especially those in leadership positions, to exercise good judgment. At a minimum, Senator Thorpe needed to disclose to me her connection to Mr Martin, and her failure to do so showed a significant lack of judgment. Senator Thorpe says she understands this, so I now expect her to demonstrate better judgment going forward and in exercising her continue, uh, continuing portfolio responsibilities. I note also that Senator Thorpe has not held the justice portfolio since the election. Senator Thorpe has important work to do on First Nations justice, including on progressing truth, treaty and voice, and I want her to be able to do that work. Happy to take any questions. Why should she remain in the party at all if you've admitted and she's admitted that she hasn't exercised good judgment? Well, Senator Thorpe had an important role, not only as our justice spokesperson, but on the uh, Law Enforcement Committee. Now, they are important roles that should be taken seriously. Her friendship could be perceived as an issue given her work as a senator, especially on those committees. Now, I've spoken to Senator Thorpe and she has told me that at no stage was there any breach of uh, the rules regarding those committees or her work. No. Uh, sharing of confidential information, and to date, uh, no one has suggested otherwise. But that's not enough. Uh, there, it was clear, it was clear, that this could be perceived as affecting her work, and her failure to disclose that, at the very least to me, was an error of judgment. Now, um, on the basis that there, she has assured me that there is that there has been no breach. Um, but nonetheless, this was a significant error of judgment. I've asked her to resign from the leadership team. So just to clarify, she's told you that she's not disclosed anything to Dean Martin or anyone else, um, and you believe her and, and take her word as evidence enough, and that matter is closed in terms of disclosure of information that should be laid out. Well, that's... The facts, as I understand them at the moment, and as has been presented to me, and I note that the report today doesn't suggest otherwise. Uh, if those facts change, then of course I will consider uh, further action if those facts change. But that is what I've been told at the moment, and there has been no suggestion from anyone otherwise. Do you need an investigation in any way to confirm that from your own standing as, as the leader of the, the party itself? Well, the, uh, I'm sure if anyone had any information in that regard, they would uh, uh, provide it to me or provide it to someone. I hope they would. Um, I have uh, separately reached out to the AFP to seek a meeting with them to see if they have any concerns uh, with respect to disclosure of information. But to be clear, 
at the moment as, uh, as on the facts that I have, no one is suggesting that that happened. Do you have confidence in Lydia Thorpe continuing as a member of the Victorian Greens? Uh, I have confidence in Senator Thorpe continuing as a senator representing our party on First Nations issues, but the significant error of judgment that she showed uh, has led me to ask her to step down from the leadership team. Now, that is a significant step. Uh, I expect her to now reflect on this uh, error of judgment and now that she is not in the leadership team to reflect on what it would mean to show better judgment in the future. Um, Senator Thorpe is a fighter for her people and uh, has strong and passionate views about advancing justice for First Nations people. She has the potential to be a very good senator fighting for her people and fighting for justice, but she will need to show better judgment to do that. Has she told you that if you were to sack her, she'd quit before you could do so? No. Should matters like this be referred to the National Anti-Corruption Commission when it is established? Well, I think there's no suggestion of, uh, that any confidences have been breached, um, but the test has to be, especially for uh, politicians sitting on important committees like this, it cannot be perceived as an issue given the work they are doing. Now, on what I have uh, been told so far, um, the, the failure to disclose, at least to me, at least to me, is a serious error and as a result, I've asked for her resignation from the deputy leadership. That, uh, uh, on the facts that I'm given at the moment, uh, is an appropriate sanction. The story claimed that staff in your office were told about this relationship and decided not to pass it on to you. Is that true? The, I, I was not aware of this until the media contacted me um, uh, very recently about these issues, and I've since made inquiries. Now, um, I have a very good and competent Chief of Staff who makes uh, many good decisions. This was not one of them. Um, I expect that I should have been told about this, and I have made that clear to my Chief of Staff and I have counselled him. Um, for context, uh, having made the inquiries, reading the report today and uh, understanding what I now know, uh, my staff thought the issue had been resolved, and if I read the report correctly, um, uh, Senator Thorpe's staff had been told that the relationship uh, had ended, or they thought that the relationship um, had ended. That was their view. So my staff thought that the issue had been resolved. Um, and the second thing I would say is that ultimately the obligation to disclose to me was Senator Thorpe's. Uh, ultimately it was her issue that she needed to tell me about. Having said all of that, um, this was not a good decision um, from my staff to not tell me about this and I have counselled them. How disappointing is this for, for you, uh, knowing that Lydia Thorpe didn't disclose this and then of course staff members also didn't pass it on as quickly as they should have? Look, it's disappointing. It's disappointing because people are entitled to uh, trust that where there are issues that affect the work of senators or members of parliament, that they will be disclosed. Um, and it's disappointing because it's uh, an error, a significant error of judgment from someone who has a lot to offer this country and a lot to offer this parliament. So I am disappointed. Um, I hope that Senator Thorpe now takes this seriously and reflects on this and shows better judgment in the future. You say you only found out about the relationship recently. When exactly did you find out about it? Uh, the, uh, the ABC contacted us with a set of questions at the end of last week and over the course of um, the weekend and the days since I've been making inquiries including the ones that I've uh, said to you to understand um, what had happened and, and provide answers to the ABC and also to uh, have an understanding myself about what happened. The story seems to detail almost a clandestine kind of relationship between the two in the sense they were using signal, they weren't meeting each other's houses. Does that, in your mind, again, sort of show a, uh, that 
Senator Thorpe knew there was something that, that needed to be hidden? Well, I think it was clear that there was an issue. I think it was clear that there was an issue. The uh, staff uh, in her office knew that there was uh, an issue and uh, I've seen commentary from uh, experts today who said there was an issue and with respect I agree with them. And uh, it's clear that there was an issue and that's why it should have been disclosed to me at the very least. How, how did she explain this to you when you, when you discussed this with her today? What, what did she tell you about the relationship, about why she didn't disclose it? What was her defence? She admitted she made a mistake. I said to her, um, when, given that I had understood the facts and I put them to her, and that uh, she said that there was uh, a, an ongoing friendship. Uh, she admitted that she had made an error and that she should have disclosed it. What, what does she say the error was? That, 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 that there was a conflict between the relationship and her role on the committee? Her failure to, at the very least, tell me about it um, and to understand, uh, failure to understand that uh, it, it could be perceived as, uh, as an issue given her work. It's not her first error of judgment that's landed the whole party in a difficult position. Is, is the next offence a sackable one? Is this a final warning? Well, to the extent that issues have arisen in the past, I have dealt with those. I expect her now to show better judgment in the future. She's told me that she understands the seriousness of this step that I have taken. And I hope she does understand that and exercise better judgment, because as I say, um, she is a senator uh, who has a lot to offer this country, especially with respect to First Nations justice. And I hope that her judgment improves so that she can continue to do that, and I think be part of some very significant change in this country. While we're on the issue of past issues, but also ongoing issues, concerns were taken to the finance department regarding her treatment of Indigenous elders um, and the running of her office. Have you received advice from the department on how that is being handled? Uh, not yet. Um, so to be clear, there's a, uh, a review underway that has been uh, resourced and auspiced by the Department of Finance, where an independent agency is uh, reviewing the uh, staffing structures and culture uh, and um, doing what in their departmental terminology is called a cultural diagnostic within Senator Thorpe's office. Um, that review has been underway uh, for some time. Uh, I understand it's, it's set to conclude in the near future. Um, that uh, review, I anticipate, will uh, or is um, considering a number of these issues that have been raised, and I'll wait the outcome of that. Was there anything that Senator Thorpe did a breach of party rules? Uh, the, the way that our party room rules are set up is that the, uh, if there has been a breach of our internal party code of conduct or our party rules, then our party room um, sits together and judges that and assesses that. And I wouldn't want to prejudge anything that um, our party room might consider. But whether it was um, a breach of a rule that was written down or not, to my mind, it was clear, it was clear. This could be perceived as an issue that affected her work as a senator and the obligation was very clear to at the minimum disclose it to me uh, and she failed to do that. You do have a party room meeting this afternoon though, would you expect this would be discussed? Look, I'll leave it up to my colleagues um, to consider uh, the, um, the issue from here on in. I don't want to preempt anything that they might want to discuss. I have asked for Senator Thorpe's resignation from the leadership team and she's given it to me. If, if there was, could, could a, a different outcome stem from the party room meeting? Do your colleagues have a say collectively as to whether she remains a member of the party or is that your decision alone? Look, ultimately, um, those are questions for my colleagues and for our party. Um, I have the capacity to take action and I've taken that action and uh, I base that on the facts as I understand them. No, but it is a question for you. I'm wondering, is it within the remit of the party room to, to seek a different resolution to this? I, I, I answered that by saying yes. Like the, the ultimately, the um, uh, decisions, further decisions, 
uh, about those matters are decisions for the party room collectively and also for the party. Will, will there be a discussion on that and do you think that she has the majority support of her own colleagues in the party at the moment? Look, the, um, that is a matter for my colleagues. Uh, I am taking this action because this is action that I think is uh, appropriate given the seriousness of uh, this matter, given the failure to perceive that this could be an issue, given her work. I've taken this action and it's, uh, it has had already and now will have serious uh, consequences because Senator Thorpe is no longer a member of the party's leadership team. Just to clarify an earlier answer, are you saying that it's possible the party room could raise an issue about a breach of internal rule that's been committed by Senator Thorpe? As a general principle, that is how our party room processes work, is that we have internal guidelines and codes of conduct uh, and if there are uh, concerns that they have been breached and that there should be consequences, then that is something that uh, is a matter for our party room. So, so what yeah. actions do her, uh, do the breach part of the bill, Greens Voluntary Code of Conduct, what part of her actions breach that code? Well, I've made the point that is, that is ultimately the way that our structure works, so that is ultimately a question for um, my colleagues and I don't want to preempt that, but it was wrong. It was wrong, and I have taken action because it was wrong. Are there rules around declarable associations and, and similar, though, that, that this, you know, on a prima facie level, may have breached? Uh, we do have rules about that in our um, uh, in our party. Of course, we do, and those rules go to some of the matters that uh, we've been traversing here today, where there, where it could be perceived that this uh, is an issue, given your work then that is something that, at a minimum, needs to be disclosed. Thanks, everyone.